What's up, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back for another boring weekend. Extended weekend. Markets are closed tomorrow. So, we're going to talk about, uh, well, we'll talk about the futures. They opened. They'll be kind of quiet. Uh, I assume even the movements here, I wouldn't trust too much anyway. So, I want to kind of lightly go through them. I'm going to talk about a couple of the options plays I I like, or just a gen some generic options plays I like in markets like this. Uh, it's kind of... You might think there's a lot of movement up and down, big picture, not a lot of movement. You know, it's kind of some up, kind of some down. Uh, some days are down more than others. The other days are green more than others. Uh, and this is the weekly. I mean, our past couple of weeks, we've been range bound. I mean, this is that weekly candle from range to range. I mean, it's been almost a month from this zone to this zone. We're starting off another week. So a lot of this could be some uncertainty, like, We've 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 seen we've seen the Trump news kind of die off as far as uh, the knee jerk reaction of Trump tweeted this we can't anymore. But you know just that headline news of what's going on now we've seen that knee jerk reaction kind of really settle down and really calm down. Um, the Chiefs didn't cover. Chiefs covered the Browns all over and won. What's up, guys? So, as far as the uh, the futures go, as far as the Russell, let's get back to let's get back to the hourly. A little bit of a uh, a green open hit that zone, and we're bouncing right now. Again, not a lot of weight to it. The Russell, I will say, has been kind of like the outlier. If you've been in this one, you're just kind of green, like really green, not red, green, like dip buys. Russell's been going for IWM been on fire. Let's talk about the IWM for a second. IWM's been really popping off because while the small caps got the beat down and IWM is small cap stuff, there's a couple things in here like uh, like solar and everything that really just went for it and carried the IWM. Just I mean, as far as if it didn't have solar or financials weren't so big in this IWM, we'd be picking this thing up in the OTC market right now. Uh, after uh, February's or March's crash of last year, right with the Rona, like that was a little bit too much. So the one reason I'm actually super bullish IWM and why I've kind of mentioned take that back burner play on this, maybe dollar cost average in this one, which is not something I say very often because I'm I'm a trader, right? Uh, I make money on short term swings. I don't really get into the noise of the one minute, but I would take advantage of those short-term swings and kind of miss out on the red days. I think there's a lot of money. Everyone kept thinking we're going to sell tech. We're going to buy IWM. I think tech's going to stay right where it's at, if not go higher. It's still doing good. Why would you sell something doing good? But I think there's a lot of scared money on the sides because everyone's like, you know, hey, wait, what's up? What's, what's going on with the market? Um, what do we do? Uh, so they're just in cash. I think now we're seeing the, uh, the vaccines roll out. Biden's coming in hot with that vaccine plan, telling everyone's about to have this thing. Uh, so hopefully that progresses pretty well, and that will bring those some of those smaller guys need that to they need the market open. We need if it, if it's gonna take vaccines, I don't care what it takes, they need it. And if that's the case, and that comes roaring back, we're gonna see IWM coming back like it just hit the boosters on somebody. So I am bullish on this over the year. Now as far as the the hot start to January, kind of up, kind of down. The one place I've liked a lot is because there is some uncertainty. It's been kind of boring, but I've actually taken quite a few leaps um, on this already. Uh, in fact, in the thumbnail, there's NIO, uh, Boeing, and Expedia, of which I'm already in. Um, now, they're up, so uh, except for my Boeing. Boeing's not. But I talked about those kind of briefly, and we're going to talk about it more tonight, is um, how to word it. Talk to me in Q4. Their, their leaps were growing up. That is the, uh, I call it my herd immunity play is what I call it. Like by the time everyone's got this, they got the vaccine or they're just not worried. We're out flying. What's another word that rhymes with flying? <laughs> um, that doesn't start with a D. Uh, yeah, the market is closed for tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to be out spending some money. Uh, so by that time, you know, where's the stock market going to be then? Uh, we'll be rocking and rolling. So I expect those things to just be so far up. And I, I'm in it now. Um, kind of don't have to manage it because they are a uh, we'll check back in Q4 kind of play. 
Uh, unless we go deep, deep in the money, and I'm just so far green that I'll just start trailing with a, a super loose stop so that in the event of an actual crash, uh, you know, I still make money. Flying and riding. There we go. Well, I guess you're riding in a plane. <laughs> I just didn't want to say flying and dying. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mark's close tomorrow, so... I know, a boring day, but at least we get our get our fix on. We get to at least talk about the futures, and we always talk about Bitcoin. As far as the Qs, a little bit of a further red start. Now, this actually opened up and pushed up. I was like, here we go. We got the nice little bounce. Back down. It was red at the start of this, which is actually kind of recovering right now. Again, whether I'm bullish or bearish, I'm not losing any sleep over this. We got a lot of time until the market's open Tuesday morning. If I'm in futures right now, even then, my position would be so small. Uh, I would, I'd currently be on a 15 minute downtrend and that's kind of all I'd be doing. You could say it's basing out. I'd wait for a little push up and I'd try to go short again until it got above that point. Got Gets above that point, pulls back, makes the higher low. I'd speculate there and get in long. Uh, but volume's probably pretty pretty light. S&P. Now we're watching this downfront blue zone right now. Uh, so we did. We, we dropped down into it. We're bouncing out of it now. Again, let's see. Not losing any sleep. Tesla shorts crying. I thought Tesla sold, sold off. Why are they crying now? Did anybody else get some news? Never traded futures. More info on that. Uh, it might. Some of them might sound cheap, but they can be pricey. They'll make some pricey mistakes if you don't dot your I's and uh, cross your T's. You uh, you forget. Like so, there's been times I'll have a limit order set or. Uh, you do like an OCO and it deletes one of them, not the other one. So it, it tags out, but then you got a, a sell order up here that was your take profit going long. Well, it'll grab that sell order shooting up and then continue to shoot up, and you just went short. Um, so futures, what we break down all the time, talking about the market. Uh, there, there's margin. That's... I'm trying to think when that's... I don't want to even give a timeline when, I, when my course and that's coming out. What's up, Emre? Never traded futures. Uh, you got to apply for it. Uh, there's no PDT. Stocks only have PDT. Yeah, Russ is uh, green right now. Let's go. It's the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin. Let's check this out on the daily. Man, come on. So, we kind of have this pennant going on again for uh, Bitcoin. Let's draw a little triangle shape out here. What's up, guys? I just want to say what's up again, by the way. You guys are rocking it out. Let's delete that. There we go. Let's get it all in there. It always looks like, look how cool that looks in your head. Like, oh, it's a bull pin. And then you draw the lines, and you're like, wait a minute. That doesn't look too good. Anyway, we've kind of got that going on. Can we draw dragon wings? It's obviously the flying dragon pattern. So, uh, watch out for that. Start trading crypto to make money over the weekend, too. Now with your charts. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see, our futures open if tomorrow's a holiday. Well, that's a good question. I think they might be doing a half day. Uh, classic dragon pattern. <laughs> yeah. Now, anybody watching, like, brand new my channel is like, what is this guy going over? <laughs> Indicates it's going to 110, 100, yeah, well, 100k, yeah. Hang on, my bad. It's not part of the art. <laughs> Hell yeah, I can comment. Yeah, it was just Fridays. Friday stream is the members only stream. Everything else, I'm here for you guys. Uh, why were the Tesla shorts crying though? A 
as if the dragon pattern makes any less sense than, than trading off the view off. <laughs> Bitcoin consolidating and people can't decide if they want to get their, their feet wet. Scared of another 30% drop. Scared money don't make money. <laughs> Love that line. I hope it does drop. What's another 30%? Right there, that trend line. Go ahead. If I could crank up the gravity on this and bring it down, I would. What is the dragon pattern? Well, you'll have to hit the subscribe button to know what that one truly is all about. But, check this video in a couple... You know what? What's today? January 17th, 2021. Check this video, January 17th, 2023, and you'll know what the dragon pattern is. If I was that dumb to short Tesla, I'd probably cry too. Uh, Tesla sold off though, didn't it? We don't have, men men uh, we don't have mentorship tonight. Uh, we talk about the market. We plan for the the market, you know, before it opens. Uh, this is not open tomorrow. So, uh, I think Tesla's consolidating. Getting getting below this probably going to be bearish. Man. Let's talk about the leaps. Uh, options plays. Sorry, we got distracted there. Uh, so, in the thumbnail, we have Expedia, which is EXP... E? EXPD? I think it's E. Expedia Group. Now, this has actually been doing really well. Um, I got in this. I saw the base right here. And I grabbed a, uh, a 130 call. This is again for uh, January. Now, if I'm going to grab it right now, I like this one. I just thought they would they would see some, some growth just in general off of a, a market booming. Everyone trying to get back out there. Um, uh, if I were to buy this one right now, I probably would still buy the 130. It'd be in the money, 130 of, you know, January of next year. And you're just looking for that to, uh, that to break. But in, in, even then, you're saying it's going to be, you know, higher than EXP. Hang on, I gotta reset this. Download some updates. Last time Tesla was in a dragon pattern, it went on a ripper. <laughs> Oops. How many are here? 107 of you guys just itching right now for the market. Of course, it's Tesla open. <laughs> I'm going to talk about these few options plays, just leaps why I like them. And then I'm just going to hang out with you guys until uh, 7. Leaps are naked? Yeah. Let me just run it. One thirty. So, 35 bucks. You'll spend 3500 on it right now. Do you sell your leaps early if they boom up, or do you wait until they're close to expiration? Uh, I'll trail it. If they boom up, I just put my stop loss in, a, a generous stop loss. Like it would take a, uh, it would take a decent, like the red day it would probably take to tag that. I'm getting a thousand DMs. It'd take one of those days to tag me out. Uh, but for the most part, like my Boeing's in the red, I don't care. Uh, I mean that's because because. Why were if you bought it for this January of next year? Why are you still worried about it January of this year? Like, what just happened to make you think all of a sudden the next 12 months that just changed? 12 months is a lot of time, so it costs 35 bucks for that. So, you it, this would need to push up to uh 175, it gets up to here, you break even, right? So, it'd be green in the meantime, and everything above that is just money for you. You have 12 months for it to just break out and go higher. We need our fix. <laughs> Could you let us know the options volume on Apple, please? Yeah. Why are you saying his name's Don? <laughs> Let's see. Why are you saying his name's Don? Somebody ask about Dan? 
I think we're in a real estate bubble again. My woman is a realtor, and we're invested in EXP. EXP. Oh, Eagle Materials? Okay. Have over 80 shares averaged around the $12. What are your thoughts, Don? Oh, so you're actually... Uh, how are you invested in EXP? Those are the ones that are just trying to show up and... Uh, in every Facebook group, like, have you ever heard about... It? You want to leave Keller Williams and join... Is that what it is? <laughs> I'm probably just making fun of it. Uh, I just hear... I'll, it's got to be EXP. The options volume on, on Apple. Yeah, what how, what volume? Volume on which one? EXP I is the IPO. What do you mean this is the IPO? Oh, he said bro. <laughs> I don't think we're in a real estate bubble. I think real estate's about to pop again. Oh, not pop's probably not a good word. I bet we go up again. EXPI is not an IPO. They give you shares. Explode. Uh, Ken, could you, I want to make sure I, I hate this lag because I, I want to know what your, uh, you have over 80 shares. So EXP, I guess I'll just pull that one up. Eagle materials. You got it at $12. 80 shares average around $12. What are your thoughts on this? So buy a house now or wait for the pop. Oh, I mean pop as in goes up. So if you like paying higher prices, I really can't give uh, real estate advice. Uh, definitely going to be held accountable for that. Uh, but my area is different than everything else. In my personal opinion, I'm buying as much real estate as I can. I'm looking to buy everything it, as much as I can right now. Um, you know, I don't want to just go out there and blindly buy everything, but. I bet we go up before we go down. That's a big purchase. Some of you, it'll be your biggest purchase of your life, though. So I definitely don't want to mess around with that. She's in. You're in EXP at $12, though? Buy now, inflation on its way. Yeah. Now, if you're rocking this... Emory, I've, I've never been to Ohio, so I don't know. The last thing I would want to do is, would you do this in this city and state and never have been there? I would say ask a real estate agent in your area. Coming to an old resistance? Yeah, but it's booming up there. Yeah, I guess I would just watch this. But if I'm in it at $12, sounds like you're invested. If you're, that was a 2012 price. Watch out for that area. They got me thinking with the uh, the real estate group. There's I'm in a couple of real estate groups on, on like Facebook. And someone's always coming in there like, have you guys ever thought about leaving your brokerage and coming to? And I thought it was EXP. It sounds like a pyramid scheme. Can't buy anything in New York because everything is 750k. <laughs> yeah, for a closet. Oh, the I, the IPO is EXPI. You're talking about World Holdings, right? Or is there a different one? That's what's throwing me off. Or you got in up here and it's just shooting up. If I got in that at twelve dollars, I certainly wouldn't want that breaking. I don't know. Yeah, and if it were to pull back and make a higher low somewhere right inside here. You know, that might just be, yeah, it could be making a lower high. could also start to make, like, a, a higher low. And I wouldn't want it if it broke that at all. 
how do I get these charts? I don't see a join button. You're probably on mobile. Uh, and there might be, depends on if YouTube, which one they put up. There's a link in the description for a quick access link or something like that. Uh, let me see if I can see it myself. I never know which one. Uh, let me check the account. Quick members link. Actually, the first link in this the description of this video. If you click that, you'll actually be you'll join. You'll be a YouTube member. Your name will be green, so you'll be able to talk in the Friday streams. You'll get my Trading View link, so you'll be able to save that as a playlist, just so you can type in whatever uh, ticker you want. And if I have it zoned out, uh, then you'll see it on there. Uh, for this, more importantly, it looks like you're going to struggle right around. Nothing but sellers show up up here. Buyers try to pick it up there. Yeah, focus on that. I if I'm in at twelve dollars, I might just give that one some extra room and uh, let it roll. Uh, but yeah, if you're on a mobile device, you can't see that for some reason. YouTube doesn't have the join button. Another one was Boeing. All right, my Boeing position's red. Because I bought the leap somewhere, somewhere around here. I didn't catch this bottom zone, uh, but it's red. It's one I don't care about. Man, I'm forgetting the uh, the price of these. I'll tell you my exact one because I've even thought about adding on to this one. Also, zoom, zoom can just take off. Boeing 225. So it was right around 220 when I got that. Uh, now, when I'm taking these leaps, I, I am within a couple dollars of it being at the money. So I can understand going barely out of the money, barely in the money. Wouldn't really want to matter, but the Delta's probably going to be right there. I did that uh, 40, 40 to 60 mark. Uh, I'm not trying to reach because it has to push to that and then exceed it right and then you get to your break even on top of that is where all your money comes from so uh, if you're taking leaps i see a lot of people go through this and, and they just take dumb plays i think you <laughs> someone in the mentorship might jump in this chat real quick because because he was taking a lot of these dumb plays he's like all right don I, i'm in these leaps it's five billion dollars out of the money are we gonna get there probably not so if I'm thinking, okay, January of next year, I'm not trying to pick where it's going to be January of next year because all you're going to do is, let's say you think Boeing, Boeing's going to hit all all time highs. We're going to be we're going to hit that right there, January of 2022, right here. You think that is the uh, uh, expected move? I bought AMC shares at 246, sold a covered call. For protection, what are your thoughts? I'd be careful selling calls, especially on anything that might start to go up. Um, I'd rather sell puts on something like that. Whatever, where are we at? This was a. Uh... All right, so January. That's what you're thinking. You're thinking Boeing's going to do exactly this. So you go out, you buy some 445 calls on Boeing. How much money did you make if it does exactly this? Zero. You lost every bit. You played target practice. You got it. The person who sold you that call said, thanks. That's exactly what I thought too. And he collected the most money he could and kept it all. I wish it would just stop. So now if you buy a, uh, let's say you buy a, a 315 call. We'll say 345. 345 call. It does that. Now that call is worth 100 bucks. It's 10,000 in, in the options world, minus what you paid for it. But let's say you buy the 245 call. The 245. Now that call is worth $200. So you buy a Boeing 245. You 
You spent $23, you'll sell it for $200, if Boeing were to just jump up to that. So you'd make $18,000 on that, $17,000 just on that one contract. You're going to spend two grand, let it sit. Now, that's another part of the beauty of these leaps, right? Is you're paying for time, but you have two grand locked up into Boeing, and it has a year to move. You're controlling 47 shares. Well, hang on, 245, let's see the right one. 43 shares, okay? 43 shares, if you were to buy that right now, what if you were to buy it at current price? At 204, even cheaper. Oh, why do I always do the math on that? You're spending 20,000. Sorry, I don't know why moving the decimal is hard for me <laughs> to multiply something by 100. Um, so I can buy 100 shares worth of that, or I'll buy 47 shares. It, I, well, I can't, but if I were to chop that in half, I'm still spending 10 grand. Or I could buy that contract for two grand, control 40 or well, 43 shares. As it pushes up, I'm now in control of more. But if I were to just go one for one, because that contract is 100 shares, if I were to buy 100 shares right now, that's $20,400. Or I spend $2,300. When do the weekly expected moves get updated? After market close on Friday, uh, that's when I would type them in, or I thought I'll put them in. I usually do them like on stream, but uh, I haven't put those in yet. But yeah, because the options will trade 15 minutes after close, you don't want to do it right at the bell. I don't consider March 21 calls a leap. No, March, for me to call it a leap, it's got to be at least six months out. Everything else is a, a duration play, I guess. Revoke Intel licenses used for Huawei. Hmm. Do you do debit or credit spreads? Well, they're defined risk. So six to one half a dozen. Now I like uh, credit spreads. Uh, if I were to s if I were to sell one, uh, I like puts. I'd sell some put spreads. I would wait for some nice red candles to show up and then sell the put spread. That way, that quick little pop up. Hopefully, I've already collected some of that theta. Leaps are a year. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get into an argument on, on that one. I, I argued, I swear, till we were blue in the face. This guy kept trying to tell me it was like anything over 90 days was a leap. And uh, I'm just not on board with that. Why do some of these some of the companies not have options? Because they can barely sell their shares. Let alone anything else. And then Neo. Last one. And then let's just, let's just conversate. Let's break some tickers down for you guys. Neo. Now, where do you think Neo is going to be at the end of the year? Again, target practice. Where do you think it's going to be at the end of the year? Okay, 100 bucks, 110, whatever you think, right there. Don't go buy a 110 call. Because you would need for that to push well above that to make any money. If I'm buying leaps, I really love at the money. Where do I think it's going to go up here? I'm only going to make that much more. If I think it's going to go right to here, like is a leap really worth it? Probably not. If I see some growth coming out of this thing, if I think this thing has the potential to really go, we might be uncertain, we might be kind of shaky, we might just be quiet, then I like these leaps. They're back burner plays. They don't need your management. They don't require that much attention. You're going to buy them. We're going to check later, see how well we made out. You didn't put up a lot of capital for them uh, for the potential to make some capital. Now, more time on the, on the play is more time to be right and more time to be wrong which is why you don't want to just whole account these things. But you plant a few seeds, you pepper a few of them out there, uh, and they start working their way up, and we're rocking and rolling. Why are some of the names green? Uh, they're members. So again, you can't see the join button on this if you're on a mobile device, but it is the first link in the description. Ford or Chevy? 
Well, I own both, but I will make fun of Chevy until I'm dead. One, the volume knobs. Are you kidding me? They're like that big. Right? My daughter, they're great for my daughter's hands. That's it. You want to feel like man controls? Then you go into a Ford. Oh, and on the new C8 Corvette, you know where the volume knob's at? Here's your steering wheel. Here's your little tiny little volume knob, little pin cap. It's behind the steering wheel. So I got to like lean over, like do that. Oh, and yeah, there's steering wheel controls. There sure is. Two big old buttons right there at the bottom. Plus and minus. You know how much it goes up when you click it once? Nothing. Twice. You just click, 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 click. I'm at my destination before the volume gets anywhere. I like in and DM. I have 100 shares already, four bucks in the money. I just let that one roll. I'm in in and DM. And again, like I said on that first video I made about it, back at like eight bucks right, right here. Check back with me Q4 of 2021 and we'll see how much money we made. Every time it pushes up, they do an offering, they collect some cash, it comes right back down. And so far, every one of these dips has been an offering. It just gets bought right back up. Now, will that uh, continue? Who knows? So get a Tesla. <laughs> as soon as they come out. Hopefully my Christmas of next year, I'm in a, I have my Tesla. Uh, hang on, you want to see options volume on Apple. Here it is. Volume. Whole lot of zeros on that one. 43 on that one. 24 on that one. 90 on that one. What options volume did you want to see? There's some at the money stuff. It's September of 21. First of all, let's get over here. January of 22. I think a lot of leases have been getting bought the other day. Open interest. These are people that have already bought these, by the way. They're already holding these. Leaps have already been put in. Apple's just getting the brakes beat off of it. 80,000? It that's that's a leap right there. Well, yeah. They're buying all of these. They're loading these up. So this just on Friday, 2000, 130. I think I'm going to grab some of these. I like Apple. Uh so Tuesday morning I'm probably going to take this exact play. 130 January 22. I like it. Love the volume rant, Roku Tan Apple. Where do you see the strike price? Bid and ask right here. Someone wants to buy it for this, someone wants to sell it for that. Was that the volume rate you wanted? You were asking about Apple volume, so like what? I don't know if there was one you were specifically talking about. Or if you're talking about on like uh, Flow Algo or something like that. Any in where'd that go? Any insight on blockchain or something like that? Okay. Any insight on blockchain mining stocks? Riot, Ebon. Um, as long as the as long as the crypto world keeps going up, I bet those will do pretty well. Did Elon have a little comment about Bitcoin? Was that real? I just saw a link in the headlines and I was just curious how real that was and how many of Elon's followers are going to uh, jump in. Amazon Weekly MACD still cooling off. Amazon. I don't have that on here anymore. Hang on. My charts are always like so clean and perfect. <laughs> that sounds like, can you put that indicator up there? Yeah. Daily. What up? Nah, just dead center. Who Amazon needs to. Nah, I'd say the RSI is probably cooling off a little bit more than anything. It's cooled off enough. Amazon, turn around now. Mac, do you hear that thing? <laughs> That's one cool thing about TradingView. Uh, if you double click it, I think it might auto-populate. If I have some of these and it's saved, 
Um, it might auto populate on this, so just double click it and it, it takes him away. Uh, sorry, he asked about Roku, and Roku just went for it. I thought we'd see a pullback on Roku, and I wanted to grab that right there. We haven't, so I'm kind of waiting for it to uh, come back down. Now we're starting to, to base out. I think we're a little extended. We hang out here next week. That's probably going to be a base that I'd be paying attention to, to probably buy. Just want it to come back down. I'll tell you, I don't want it going up above that though. With with me not in it at least. Put that one there for me. Long Amazon four thousand. I'm in Amazon, but I'm in some options plays. So this sideways crap is the reason I was uh, took a huge hit in December. How are we going, kid? Oh, what's the difference between open interest and volume? Yeah, open interest is what's held, and then volume is what's bought or sold that day. Which I know you got that answer. I just wanted to... I saw your question. EXR. Extra space storage. Is this going to be in the space ETF? Is this a storage unit? I kind of want to buy a storage unit, especially in the United States. We just hoard stuff. We don't get rid of stuff. We spend money on stupid things. And, you know, a storage unit in America, probably pretty profitable. I want Roku to cool off. The evaluations don't match. Yeah. Can you do a something crypto bet? Yeah. Uh, as far as this goes, getting above that's bullish. Right now, dancing right. We spent all last week inside this, so getting above that's bullish. Getting below here is bearish. And you want that to get above that zone right now. I think if it sees this rejection, I don't think this zone holds again. Vermilion Energy. What's the uh, the ticker for this? Bit, I'm sure it's that. Is there a Coinbase one? Bitcoin selling off. Uh, let's see. Bet. Is this the next Bitcoin? I gotta be careful making jokes because I'm gonna make a joke about this on something stupid like this. Oh yeah, sure, it's the next Bitcoin, and it is. And I'll be live on YouTube just talking about it, making fun of it as a million, millionaire rolls by. Remember that one ticket you made fun of? Anyway, I'm a millionaire from it. Yeah, I wouldn't want it going below this last little, little bit right here. PLTR waking up. Uh, hopefully. That was my alert to buy some more. Kathy Wood bought it, and then so did everyone else. <laughs> and, uh, well, the red right now. It's got its own different business case. Okay. Could you break down APHA? I cashed out on 35% Friday after a big move during the week. Was looking to maybe get back in. So 35% of your player, you were 35% in this thing. I'd have to come down here first. Uh, there's something going on right here. Uh, so maybe I would normally have that yellow. We can an argument could be made intraday. We based out there uh, because of this pump up right here. I wouldn't want that breaking. So, and I would, and I'm not whole accounting it right here either. But would I take a play? Sure. Uh, my position size would reflect the volatility. My allocation, I wouldn't get smoked if it decided to just mirror image this and come right back down. 
TTCF. I'll do this without making fun of it this time. What I'd be looking for, so we're below the speed bump zone. Now we dropped off, and then after hours, pushed right back up. Sure. Are we headed back down? Are we going to confirm that and come back down, or are we going to start putting in a higher low right here? So if we actually, I would only worry about it once it gets above this blue zone. Gets above this, probably going to start looking at that bearish kind of pennant pattern to play out. Comes back into this zone, whatever, it's a zone's normal dip buy. But... Whether it comes down, even Monday's red. If we come down and don't touch that yellow zone and then turn around and get above that blue, we'll probably just put in a higher low. We're charging up to kind of break that to the upside. So this is one I do like. We're flirting with these areas where there's been nothing but sellers before. Uh, so we're looking for that, that game to change. We don't want the same sellers to still be there. And when they're not, that's what causes it to push up. Sumo logic. Some more logic. Make sure to hit that like button. Appreciate you, too tall. Almost 200 of you guys here. We're not even at the 50% like ratio. You guys are killing me. I thought about something the other day. Now, this might make some of you guys mad. <laughs> the only reason I haven't done it yet is because it kind of seems like the whole nickel and diamond thing. I'll make the chat members only until we're at 50% like ratio. Then I unlock it to everyone else. In my head, that makes sense. Like, that's logic. Like, you guys, you guys want to hit that like button? It's free, and then all of a sudden it goes up. And then everybody gets to come in here and chat. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's some strong sellers right here, though. That's nothing. All your sellers are right here. There's been a wall of them. You might have snuck behind the gate, but they just destroyed you. Nothing but sellers. Unsubbed. <laughs> One less DM I got to reply to. As a non-member, do it. <laughs> I do appreciate that. And all the comments on the uh, on the reaction video I did to uh, Graham Stephan. I pay I pay for you already. Oh, you do. I got a lot of mentorship people in here. <laughs> Emory, there's no way I have it. Uh, as far as this goes, I bet money someone stock twitch is calling out head and shoulders. You might see that play out though. If we, if this were to just be red, 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 and get to this zone, that probably is a head and shoulders playing out on a higher time frame, like the daily. As a mentorship member, do it. <laughs> yes, uh, I can. Give me one sec. We'll pull up thing or swim. Would I take this play right now? I think I would. I'd stop out. Yeah, twenty nine forty five. Hang on, FCL snap. We're gonna have to wrap this up. I gotta keep them under an hour for uh, YouTube, and we're already at the hour mark. Appreciate the thumbs up, though. <laughs> you guys really don't want to pay. Oh my gosh, I better hit that like button. It is free. Fuel cell might be there. So what I'm gonna do with fuel cell? Cause I like it. Well, I've liked it for a while. I traded it back here in like my Weeble account. Off a stupid play that my friend was like, yo, this thing's going to go to $2. This was like 50 cents or something ridiculous. <laughs> so I hate my friend. I don't think he's still in it, but I wish I would have stayed in it. Um, but cooling off like this, if it's going to keep it on right. So I'm going to put my alert right here. So this thing falls off, goes to the floor, gets delisted. I'll never know and I'll never care. Tags that alert means we're starting to bounce, we're starting to push up. Now, there's one disclaimer to this. It jumps up and tags that pre-market, <laughs> comes right back down, ends up being a wick, and just melts off down here. There's Just because that alert goes off doesn't necessarily mean it is 100% just going up. So you got to watch out for that first little quick snap up like that. Where is Dan? 
my desk is way too messy. I don't know if I have any. It's on my other desk. All my glasses. Earnings coming up on the 20th. Ooh, that'd, that'd be a gamble. If that sold off into earnings, I would, that'd be the only, only way I'd play it long. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications. If Don makes it to 100K subs, he promised a live trade every day. Open to close. If you make money on yellow boxes, just join. <laughs> Can I get a live iron condor before you leave? On the Russell, an iron condor? I think I'd rather buy it. I, I would buy a call and I'd buy a put spread. Let's let's bring up... Oh, for I'll do snap real quick. And then yeah, I'll show you guys how to change the data on TOS. Snap. I like snap. So bear flag or reversal. So they look the same, right? That's a bear flag. That's the start of a reversal. So this is a cakewalk. Right? I can buy it at 50-20 and watch the thing go to the floor. I can wait one extra dollar. We get above that zone. And uh, either A, bought the absolute peak. <laughs> or B, I just waited for it above these sellers and it started to push up. So I like, you know, in fact, I don't mind being this one a little bit earlier. Same thing I said before. If it sells off, won't know, won't care. If it pushes up, it's time to get back in. My stop, I would give this some wiggle room. There'd be some decent room in this. Uh, forty-seven eighty-five is where my stop would be on this one. Will NIO make it to fifty-eight during the week? That's a quick question. Oh, if it bounces here, yeah, I'd probably breeze right through that. So go to right here, layout, and then click customize, and just add or remove. So you can add this whole list, remove this list. Some of you guys probably need to get familiar with the probability of touching. Uh, open interest volume, yeah. Delta, you need to know. Implied volatility should be up. Theta, just know how much money you're going to lose. What do you think of taking a leap call on UVXY or VIX for market correction in the next three months? I wouldn't pay a lot for it. I don't think we're going to see... As of right now, I think we're kind of just being quiet. I know there's a lot of talk of a 2021 crash. Uh, I think the vaccine would have to make zombies for that right now at this point. Like, Biden would have to come out and try to sink this market to make it go down. Uh, you know, they come out and talk about taxes and, and raising, you know, the worst. Everything everyone's talking about that hates Biden. I still don't see the market just jumping off a cliff for a crash. So would I take that as like an airbag approach? Maybe, but I wouldn't pay a lot for it. And I wouldn't hold it for a long time. Probability of touch, a.k.a. Delta. <laughs> I'm glad you know that. <laughs> All right, it is uh, about the, the dislikes are going red Tuesday for sure. That's hilarious. Let's do a couple more. Plug is looking like FCEL. Yeah. But Don Kaufman from Theotrade is bearish, and he nearly never, ever is bearish. <laughs> that guy will never be bull. The day Don Kaufman's ever bullish, I'm going to hold account something. <laughs> That's it. Well, he's bullish. I'm buying everything I can. Is it highly on? HYLN? Yeah. You guys remember trading highly on? Wrote it all up here, and then the red candle show up, and we just forgot about it. At least I did. I really think hydrogen's stupid. Highly on is the only one that was going to do anything, and then even they're not doing anything. I'd probably just wait on this one. I'd rather wait for it to get above this. If I wasn't trying to catch any knives, I could play the horizontal play right there. That'd be it. What's the plan for the rest of the day? Um, probably go get some ice cream. I got some direct messages still. I got slammed. Uh, so I have to get caught up on direct messages. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully get some rest. Might trade Bitcoin a bunch. Just kidding. 
Where's Bitcoin at? Uh, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, I explain this in, in great detail and depth. This is what's called the dragon pattern. Now, long story short, the TLDR, you just keep an eye on this. You don't have to buy it. But let's remember this video, January 17th, 2023, and that's what the dragon pattern is. Okay? That's what it is. Every single time. So, for those of you that didn't unsub, just uh, just to see that. <laughs> I'm going to hop, hop off here. Again, the markets are closed tomorrow. So, not a whole lot of excitement. If you're watching the futures, I wouldn't be losing any sleep, uh, whether I was bullish or bearish. Got a lot of time till the market opens. Uh, there will be a video tomorrow. And then... Uh, We'll be rocking and rolling. I see colors. I see shapes. I see a dragon. <laughs> Where do I spend my money? Um, How to Train a Dragon 3 <laughs> featuring Don. That's a, what a good show. It's the whole foot thing. So, 51 at the hour. Let's do Peloton. Let's do one more. That just seems so early. You can kind of see this would be a support. Old resistance, new support. We based out right here. Let's just even move that up right to there. Found some sellers right here. Rally based rally right here. I'd keep an eye on that. I mean, if, if you're in this and you're thinking, what do I do? I mean, that's kind of all the uh, all I'm giving that right there. I bet if that breaks, we're looking for a further uh, sell off. Lost on this dragon thing. <laughs> What a coincidence. I mean, there, there's two types of traders out there. One, you trade indicators, magic lines, and you follow a YouTuber. And then there's the other kind. The I use zones, I buy magic dragons, and I'm profitable. Classic Don says buy, then breaks down another ticker. Yeah, well, while I'm sitting here in my room talking to myself and pretending you guys are on the other side listening, I like to at least talk to you guys for a little bit. Plus, I'm saying buy, and then I gotta wait for the lag. If you guys say buy back, I'm not emotionally capable of saying buy and not hearing anything. Now I just feel like I'm alone. Is it bullish? <laughs> That'd be a very bad dragon if it was bearish. Uh, well, there's red and green dragons. So on that note, I don't know if he's saying buy or buy. <laughs> Look at the likes. Are they going down? <laughs> I guess the likes are are they so buy Bitcoin now. I do have a couple Bitcoin videos. Which one of you guys even reached out and said you shared that link in um Graham Stephan's video, which is actually awesome. But I don't think other YouTubers like to mention other YouTubers' names. It's very ego-driven. But it was super cool to see you guys try that. Uh oh, someone just changed their mind. They didn't like it. They disliked it. So, I'm in the mentorship. Yeah, no, the, the dragon thing is a joke. I was just kidding. Uh, Bitcoin's just making the, uh, the bull pin it. Right here. <laughs> so we're watching that. Uh, that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mentorship. We got homework tomorrow. We got the mentorship stream. I'm excited for the week. <laughs> I'll see you guys. See you guys tomorrow.